<laughs> oh, it that is was, That was delicious. very practical, right? The thanks, buddy. Um, <laughs> yep, it is that time. Something delicious on the way. There we go. Well, we have asked you recently, you know, what are some of your favorite go-to snacks mm -hmm. or meals? And you came through with all kinds of suggestions. And the recipe that got sent in to us is actually inspired by Teresa Southgate. She said her favorite food is avo tomato and chicken wraps. And you know what? We couldn't yeah, agree yeah. more. I mean, chicken wraps, they are usually made with a delicious dairy dressing. But if dairy poses a challenge for you, then you'll be happy to know that you can also be lactose-free with the lactose-free dairy ranges from Clover Nolac. So today, we're about to show you how to make an avo chicken wrap with some tomato. I like this. Yeah, it's fresh, um, which is obviously ideal for getting maximum nutritional load. You want that whole state uh, food. But what I love here is we're taking the chicken and corn, which is like a marriage made in heaven, and just mm -hmm. giving it a fresh update. I, I actually had chicken wraps for dinner last night. Chicken um, wraps, any wrap food is the best yeah, because completely. you simply wrap it a little bit of foil on the go. It's something mm. you can eat sitting down. It's something you can eat while driving. You can eat behind your desk. It's not messy. I love it. So uh, obviously we, we're going the no dairy route here with our amazing NOLAC, which is if you need it in your life, it will change your life. I'm going to be responsible for the dressing, then you're going to throw it all together because a good yes. dressing is absolutely vital here as well. So I've got our mayo in a bowl. I'm going to just kind of, with my eyes, kind of Guestimate. measure it out. We're going to do about a cup of our NOLAC, lactose-free medium fat Mars. Oh, so um, you're using like Mars for this yeah, recipe. This is like the original, because you want something that's got a bit of like a, a, a slightly... Um, kind of uh, a tart, mm. bit of acidic vibe to it, I think will balance out the sweetness of the corn and the chicken perfectly there. Um, a little bit of salt, there we go. obviously to taste, a little bit of pepper, and again, just ramping up that acidity with a little bit of lemon juice. So and I'm then chopping our tomatoes. I'm gonna you know what I'm always guilty of doing when it comes to putting a wrap together? I fill it with too way much. too many toppings, yeah. and then you don't know how to wrap it, and then you're like... Oh, <sighs> my first wrap is always a yolk. mess. My second one is like a masterpiece, because you learn from your mistakes. So I've got a bit of um, nice Italian parsley going in there as well, because this you want to be as fresh as possible. So I'm going to start with our avo that's already been beautifully cut. Oh, that's smelling beautiful and fresh. Just little bits of everything. Yeah, remember what you've just said, okay? <laughs> you've come on, just restraint, restraint with the wrap. Or unless you get those gigantic oh, wraps. Oh, you need the big wrap. That's what I do sometimes, just get a gigantic wrap and then, you know. There we go. So I'm gonna add a little bit of rocket. I love, and again, it's about the balance here. And what I love about rocket, especially this baby rocket, the pepperiness. Mm. You know, it's got a beautiful flavor profile, but again, it's fresh, so you're getting maximum nutritional load there as well. Adding some tomatoes. There we go. Oh, Wraps are like, they're not supposed to be messy when you eat them, but they can be messy if I make them. Yeah, no, look, I'll, I'll get me, I'll have like sauce dripping down my elbow. That's all good. A little bit of corn. I think that's a genius addition to this. There's nothing better than that chicken and sweet corn flavor combination, but texturally, it's also gonna be beautiful. It's gonna give you a bit of a pop and a crunch in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna add the chicken as is, and then we're gonna drizzle the, the, the dressing you just made. Go for it, yeah. Um, what also could be, I mean, you could put the, the dressing down first and use that as your kind of binding agent on the wrap, if you will. Um, that's where it can be quite useful. But this is a perfect balance. You know that you're getting all of the colors in there, which means you're getting all of the, the vitamins and the nutrients that you need. Um, now you get I'm to drizzle it for us. I'm going to use this spoon if that's okay. Oh, look at that. Love that there's a little bit of texture to it too. Mm, completely. Uh, oh, these wraps are delicious. Well, if you want to get your hands on this amazing avo, tomato and chicken wrap that was sent in to us by Teresa, then make sure you head on over to our website. That's expressoshow.com for the steps to this recipe. And of course, you can yeah, make gonna these I'm gonna delicious ones. I'm going to steal this one across Let's and see, see who I can wrap it the best. Um, and it's always a bit of a thing, hey? It is a thing. Okay. Because I know you're supposed to fold the ends in and I didn't do that. I, I just, I'll, this is for I'll your fold plate. One, one edge in and then I'll have it open at the top. Okay. How's that? I'm just going to use a little bit of this as the binding agent over there. And there we've got a beautiful, see mine's like kind of burrito-y. <laughs> Yours is like a nice salad cigar, both of them perfect.
There we and go. of course jam packed with yes nutrients but also delicious flavor and we've kept it dairy free without skimping on a beautiful creamy and delicious um, dressing to go with it. Nice. Well if you want to get your hands on this recipe head on over to expressoshow.com. Made with love by Clover.